You are at the beginning of a wonderful journey. At Challoner, we're forming generations, generations of young people just like you, ready to go out into the world as ambitious, confident souls, fully alive to the promise of the gospel and ready to serve the common good. Hi, and welcome to Bishop Challoner Catholic School. We'd like to show you, with some of our friends, a day in the life of a Year 7 pupil. This is a maths block. I think there are some Year 7 lessons going on in here. Let's take a look. Maths is a popular subject here at Bishop Challoner. A number of students go on to study it at college. We use My Maths for homework and get Maths homework weekly. There's always someone in Maths available if we get stuck. Hi Miss, can you tell us what's happening here in Maths today? Okay, well Maths is all about patterns and we're trying to find patterns in sequences. So we're looking at trying to spot how you get from one term to the next. And by that, we're looking to see what's the same and what's different. What advice would you give parents to help children in maths? I think it's really important that the children have a really good quiet space to work, that they are able to be organised and calm, that they can do their homework. Um, the day that they get the homework would be really good. Don't leave it till the day before because then you haven't got time to find out if you need help. And if you need help, then you can look at Maths Watch or My Maths. There's videos on there. Ask your teacher, send a message via Show My Homework. That's a really good way to start. Lesson two's about to start. I think it's French. Let's go and have a look at Mr. Crook and his class. Bonjour, comment t'appelles-tu? Bonjour, comment t'appelles-tu? Bonjour, can you tell me what's happening in this lesson? Of course. So this is a year seven lesson of French. And many of us in here are only just starting to learn French now. So what we're doing is we're taking our time to really build up our confidence and develop a really strong, authentic French pronunciation while we learn lots of really useful phrases to introduce ourselves in French. What other languages can children learn at Bishop Challoner? Okay, so we offer both French and Spanish. And what we ask students to do uh, before they join us in Year 7 is to tell us what they would prefer to study, whether they would rather do French or Spanish, and then they stick with that language all the way through. And the reason we do that is because it takes a long time to learn a language, and we want our students to be as successful as possible, so we focus on one language all the way through. But because we're a really diverse school, lots of our children speak lots of other different languages at home, Italian, Polish, Russian, Chinese, and I really like to support them with those languages as well. So if you do speak another language at home, from year nine onwards, then we offer extra support so that everyone can do a GCC in their home language as well. What are you learning at the minute? We're learning how to pronounce words and put them into sentences with a French accent. If there wasn't French to learn, what language would you choose? Spanish, because I have um, Spanish cousins, so I could go and meet them whenever I want to. I really enjoyed languages. I speak a lot of French at home. I speak Portuguese at home. And I've only started speaking Spanish, but I'm really enjoying it. I think science is about to start. Let's get a move on. Lift the gas tap and turn it towards the middle. In Year 7 and 8, children have one teacher for science who will teach them chemistry, physics and biology. As you move through the school, you will have different teachers for each of the sciences. There is lots of support with science. For example, revision classes and YouTube channels will help us with our learning. Hello there, Miss Roberts. What kind of things are you teaching today? Today we're learning about how to light a Bunsen burner safely. What kind of things would the Year 7s be learning throughout the year? In science, we learn about chemistry, biology and physics. In chemistry, we learn about particles. In physics, we learn about electricity. And in biology, we look at the human body. What kinds of clubs could they partake in? There is a STEM club that runs for year seven. Um, and in the STEM club, they have looked at um, the chemistry of chocolates. So they've looked at the difference between dark milk and white chocolate. And they've also done some things looking at water rockets. We really enjoy PE here at Bishop Challoner. I'm looking forward to playing football. I'm looking forward to trampolining and dance. At Bishop Challenge, there's a massive variety of different sports for boys and for girls, lots of opportunities. Uh, the main ones we do um, in the winter term are netball, uh, rugby, football. In the summer, we look at rounders, cricket, athletics. And then in the springtime, we also do things like trampolining, badminton and basketball. What clubs are here? 
Um, we are introducing our extracurricular club um, programme back um, steadily and um, we are looking at doing things like netball this term and there's some girls football trials today. Um, if you take part in our um, school teams, actually you're rewarded with one of our enamel badges that you can wear on your blazers. You'll see some of the older students wearing those. We really enjoy um, sports like netball and rugby. We've done quite a lot of those and we also had a very exciting sports day in the summer term that we did a lot of sports like discus, javelin and quite a bit of running which was quite exciting. Can't wait to do more of that. Food's always awesome and un definitely unlike my primary school food. I've got a white chocolate chip cookie. We can get food at break and lunch. You can get snacks for example like cookies and like pastry if you want, pizza and chicken and you can also get any drink that uh, are included there. We're about to go into an RE lesson. RE is a really important subject to our school. Some people get a little bit worried by this but actually within weeks year seven are already telling us it's their favourite subject, it's nothing like they imagined. They really value the chance to debate issues and to talk about the things that really scare them, the things that really matter to them. And that's important for everybody, that's not just for people of faith. What's really special about RE here is that it helps to foster really good relationships between our students, helps us to understand diversity and tolerance of others, and it helps us to explore ourselves too. That's a really important part of RE that we understand about the faith that we might have and how we can develop that in the safety of the school environment as well. Do you only study Christianity here? No we don't. We are very fortunate that we get to study other other faiths as well and other religions too. So in Key Stage 4 we, as part of the GCSE we study Judaism and for Key Stage 3 we also study Buddhism and Hinduism as well as elements of Sikhism as well. What do you enjoy about RE? I enjoy the fact that it's helping young lives become better versions of themselves. Let's stop here. This is to commemorate our special patron, Bishop Chalna. We celebrate this at the end of September for special mass and feast day. So Gabby, you have been working really hard on this today, getting our brand new display up and running. That's awesome. And what, tell us what else you've been doing in terms of well-being already this year. Well, in terms of well-being, I've really enjoyed being a well-being mentor as I know when I joined the school, it was great to receive a message from the year 11s and the year 10s telling me that it's going to be okay. And they were right, it was a great experience. And I think I'm just really looking forward to helping them and helping them have a great experience because I know that that's definitely what the school's all about. And behind us, we've got Stride Forward, haven't we? Do you want to tell, say something about that? Uh, well, Stride Forward was all about the goals that we want the year sevens to aim for and even across the whole school and um, it really embodies the school's whole motive about doing ordinary things extraordinarily well and I think that's what the goals really picture in the sense that although you're doing ordinary things you can do them extraordinarily well and you can always make sure to push yourself and strive for the best. Mrs Thorpe has been involved with aspects of wellbeing too with the wellbeing mentors and beyond haven't you? Part of my role here at Bishop Chandler is to work with students and families so I'm involved with lots of different people in the school and I'm somebody who works closely with the wellbeing mentors and you can always come and have a chat with me about any little problem that you might have encountered. Here we are outside of geography. Let's pop in and see what your sevens are up to. We need to work out these grid references, what letter we would find in that square. Can you tell us what you're learning about? So today we are learning about four figure grid references, which is basically if you're lost, you can use four figure grid references to show you where you are. And the computers are for our research today with Google Earth discovering. In year seven, we do lots of exciting topics. We learn about map skills, we learn about compasses, we'll go on to climate change, all about the climate conference that's coming up in Glasgow soon. We'll learn about Africa, lots of exciting topics. Are there any trips and visits? We've been to Basingstoke, we've been to Southampton, lots of international trips as well planned. Who knows in the future what we're going to be able to do. Hello, welcome to the technology department. The final product in year seven that you make are bookends. You'll be taught how to make bookends using a wide variety of skills tools and techniques. Hello, my name is Helen Wood. I'm the school matron. I've been an orthopaedic trauma nurse for ooh, about 30 to 40 years now. Um, decided I wanted to retire from uh, the main hospital. So I've come here to work with all these beautiful young students. 
Um, they're very welcome to come and see me for anything, really, for a little chat if they're feeling a bit off colour. They come here for any medication. Um, I can store any of their medications here if they're, if they're asthmatic or um, if they have any allergies or anything. When I say stop, I mean... Go. When I say up, I mean... Down. When I say down, I mean... Up. Get ready and go. <laughs> and go. Go! Stop. Stop! Oh, wait, you were speaking. Up! In Key Stage 3 drama, it's all about being together and learning to work with one another. Um, looking at Year 8 drama, we look at some things called mood and atmosphere. So how can you create a terrified and panicked mood and atmosphere is something we've been looking at uh, Year 8 this half term. Um, and then Year 9, 10 and 11 is about actually us working up through the end of Key Stage 3 into Year 10 and 11 drama, at which point they're looking at lots of things such as Hansel and Gretel, um, and they're going to see uh, productions uh, at the theatre, things like that. How often are productions normally? So usually we do one whole school production a year, and that is a school musical. So the last school musical that we did here was Oliver, and we had about 250 students involved in that production. Um, usually that's in the last uh, half term of the, the year. So what is drama all about? That essence of being together, developing a new set of skills that you can use in the wider world. For example, talking in front of people is a skill that you're going to be using for the rest of your life. And here at Bishop Chandler, we give you the opportunity in drama to be who you want to be and to develop those sorts of skills. This is a piece of artwork that was produced um, at the end of last academic year. It was produced by our then Year 11 GCSE art students. This was after they'd finished and submitted all of their coursework. And it was a group project in which they were given the challenge of finding an image that had some sort of personal meaning to them that they could uh, reproduce um, in, in the style of um, a, a sort of pop art. That was the sort of the, the overarching theme here that was brought together. But I think it was also a good demonstration not just of their interests, but also of, of a lot of their sort of technical skills uh, and ability. The benefits of studying a creative subject is that it broadens the imagination, it broadens the ability to problem solve. Problem solving is such a key feature of so many different spheres of life, whether working in business or even working um, just, you know, just, just in family life. Uh, these are skills that are so transferable. Um, what we often find is a number of students, they, they do incredibly well at art, but they actually they go on and, and, and study other subjects. But what I always feel is that they've got, um, they've got a set of skills that actually will feed in in a number of very subtle ways at various different stages of their life. I think it's a crucial subject to have and it's an enormous release of creativity to have that for all students really. We regularly read in tutor time. At lunchtime you can meet friends in the library, sometimes play chess or games and finish any homework. We have regular English lessons here and some children get involved in clubs such as the Hampshire Book Awards. After school, the library is sometimes used for homework club or for students to play board games and meet new friends. There is always an adult here who is able to help you if you're stuck with a piece of work. We think the library here at Bishop Challoner School operates, it's firstly it's a real, a real centre for the school because the library offers numerous opportunities for the students to come in and take books and read quietly. It's a sensible, calm place. The other thing is that the school firmly believes that reading is, is at the heart of everything we do in many ways. It's an opportunity for students to grow their own reading, take books that interest them and really develop a love and a passion for reading in the subject. What kind of books do you encourage the children to read? We offer a wide range of books behind us. We've got non-fiction books, but we've got a range of uh, fiction books over, over in the corner as well. We've got a knowledgeable librarian who knows the types of books that different students might be interested in. But a big part of that is offering students the chance to choose books that interest them and things that they like and things that they enjoy. My favourite book is Butterflies. Um, what, why is Butterflies your favourite book? Because it's about a girl, a girl called Tina and 
um, she's been like bullied at school and then she makes a butterf- butterfly garden because she loves butterflies. At home I'm reading a book series called Chaos Walking by um, Patrick Ness and it's really thrilling and it's really like you want to keep reading, you don't stop. Wow, what a wonderful day it has been. We really hope you enjoyed this video and we really hope you're interested in Bishop Chaloner. We really hope to see you soon. Bye! Our school vision is very simple. Forming generations and building God's kingdom. This is a fantastic community. Firm boundaries, but outstanding behaviour. We are calm and purposeful, dynamic and innovative, inclusive and outward looking. And we are proud of your superb outcomes because they are the key to your future. Let's walk together on our journey and in all that we do, we start and we finish by doing ordinary things extraordinarily well. Thank you.